center line. Make sure that you hit the first knuckle. Some believe that you hit with the first two, but that does is weaken your wrist. Now from there, you're not going to hyperextend your elbow. If you come out with that full extension, wow, that elbow hurts too. I've done it. So we're going to twist it out from here. This video is for karate, for beginners. Uh, we're going to start out with uh, how we start a class and end classes. First thing I'm going to show you is horse stance. You take your legs shoulder width apart, you bend your knees, push them out to the side, make fists, curl the fingers, then the thumb on the first two fingers, hands to the side. This is your horse stance. This is good for stability and uh, balance. Now from here, how we start in the Kempo Karate is we're going to bow with the fist like this, hand here, we slide our feet together, and we bow. That's how we do it in the Kempo Karate. Now in some other uh, martial arts, you bow with your feet together and bow this way, or you just simply out here, or you even bow on your knees, the hands down, and bow. Bowing is a form of respect from the instructor to the student and the student to the instructor. Alright, let's move on from here. We're going to go back to the horse stance. Legs shoulder width apart. Bend the knees, push them out, hands to the side. What we're going to do is an inward block. It's important to block because if someone's throwing a strike at you, you want to block it before you're able to strike them. So just get that off of you. So what we're going to do is pick the hand up here like a waving hello with the hand closed. Bring it across your body, you're going to hit with the, between the wrist and the elbow, right on the forearm here. So from here, pick it up and across. Alright, let's try this out. Pick up the hand, bring it across to you, and back. Let's go back to the other side. Pick it up, come across, and back. There's your inward block. So from here, we're going to do two of them. Now from here, I'm going to show you the karate punch. What you do is take your hand, you're going to twist it out, bring it in front of you. What you want to do is there's a center line in your body. You want the knuckle to come out in that center line. Make sure that you hit the first knuckle. Some believe that you hit with the first two, but that does is weaken your wrist. If you lock this out, make sure that knuckle is lined up with your arm and flat on the top. So you hit it with the first knuckle. So from here, twist it out, out. I think of reaching out and grabbing M&M's out of a bowl. Alright, ready? Here we go. Punch. Good, other hand. Punch. Let's try it again. Punch. Now from here, you can take this and correct yourself. So from holding your hand out here like this, say you punch, boom, wrong technique, let's fix it. From here, punch, oh wrong, let's fix it. What you're going to do is you're Good to fix yourself here. You're getting yourself muscle memory by repeating this. You know it's wrong when you hear, so fix it up and you'll throw a proper punch more efficiently when you do this. So now we're going to throw the punch at a faster pace here. We're not going to leave it out there. Punch and bring it back. So you hit and return it. Now this here I think is the game of tag. So we were doing tag, boom. When I play tag, I tag, I come back to base, safety. So from here, I punch, bring my hand, this is my safety on my hips. So from here, don't get tagged back. Punch, bring it back. Now think of, your, think of that you are tagging the fastest kid in the neighborhood. Punch, bring it right back. Alright, let's try this out. You ready? Go! Move! Move! Good, very good. Okay, next we're going to do is mix the two things you learned here, the blocking and the punching. So we go back to that horse stance here, bend those knees, drop your weight. You want your back straight, hands on your hips. Make sure your elbow is behind you. You don't want to be like this. Elbows are poking out behind you. Alright, now from here, pick it up, block in, block in, throw the punch, throw the punch. Okay, so here it is. Block, block. Punch, punch. Let's try it again. Black in, black in, punch, and punch. So a little faster. Now 
Now, when you're training, you can pick up some bags like this and get a partner to train with you. When you hit it on the bags, you can block it in here and punch it straight in. What that's doing there, that's going to help your coordination. And plus, I listen to like a rhythm. I think of music when I do that. You get a beat and a rhythm. All right, now, let's move on to some kicking. You're going to take your feet close together here. This is a neutral position. I pick up my hands. I'm going to pick up the knee, point your foot out, bring it back, set it down. The part of your foot you want to use is the ball of the foot, right underneath the toes. So from here, knee comes up, kick, bring it back. Turn to the side, knee up, kick, bring it back. Now from here, I get the bag a little high here. Kick high. I prefer not to kick high. I do that for sparring and practice and having fun. But when you're kicking, right to the knee or the groin area would be more efficient. So from here, hit with the bottom of the foot, strike it in, hold it back. There's four counts to this kick. One, pick it up. Two, kick out, three, bend the back, four, set it down. A great way to practice this is if you're taking the pads, put anything on the floor. If you want to put a pillow on the floor, stack up a few pillows, preferably something that will not hurt your foot. You can pick it up, kick over, bring it back. That's going to help you. That's going to help your foot, or pick up your leg, to here and back. So there's your front kick, right foot, left foot. It's important to breathe when you do this. If you don't breathe out, it's going to resist, your, your muscles are going to start getting tensed. And if you're getting hit when you're doing the strike and you're not breathing out, it's going to knock the air out of you. So at least when you're breathing out, when you do any of these strikes and, next, and they hit you in the stomach, you're already breathing out. The air is not getting knocked out of you. Alright, let's move on to the back kick. The back kick, we're going to pick up the knee, lean forward, kick back, bring it back, set it down. You're going to use the heel. So from here, lift, look, kick, and back. And back. You could do kicking over objects to do this kick also. Now from here, the other leg, pick it up, kick, and back. Now here's a tip to make this a little bit easier. Bend your knees slightly, kind of crouch down here a little bit, so when you lean, kick, and back, you're balancing your body. Here's your back kick. Important, you want to look over your shoulder and see where you're kicking. If you don't see where you're kicking, you may miss your target for one. Another thing is if someone grabs you from behind and playing around, all of a sudden, boom, you kicked your friend. Alright, so now you got your block, you got your blocks, you got your punching, you got front kick and back kick. Let's move on to a self-defense technique. Say someone's throwing a punch. Step forward. Throw your inward block. Now we're gonna throw the punch. Punch. Now let's throw a front kick. Front kick. So now here's the punch coming. Block the punch. Twist out. Throw a punch. Pick your knee up and throw the front kick. Let's try that one more time. Block. Punch. Kick. So there's a tape one for karate for beginners. Uh, if you have any questions, please send me some comments. I'll be glad to answer it and guide you. I will be having more videos on this and uh, teach everyone who wants to do karate a little bit of basics here and we'll be moving on to getting a little more difficult things. Alright, thank you. Oh, hey, how you doing? This is Sensei Roger again from uh, Shodan 1197. I want to welcome you to Kempo for Beginners, Lesson 1. First thing I'm going to show you is a horse stance. Well, you can stop punching right now. The horse stance, we're going to take our feet just past our shoulders. 
So you're going to come out like this, toes facing forward, bend the knees forward, push the knees out, and then drop your weight a little bit. I want you to take your fists, curl like this, and then fingers or, or the thumb over the fingers like that. Pull it up towards your ribs. And this is our practice stance here. We do also fight from this, but not from this position. We don't, I'm not going to drop and go, hey, let's fight. You know, but this is a good one. We're going to do some practicing from here. Before we get farther into that, I want to talk about bowing. When we do, when we go the bow, it's like a salutation. It's like shaking hands. So in the martial arts, we bow. And well, in, particularly in Kempo, we do the Shaolin fist. So if you take your left hand and your right hand, put them together. Keep your elbows down. You don't want your elbows flying out to the side. Keep them down. Slide the right foot to the left foot, and then you bow. I'm going to do that one more time, but I'm going to do it backwards. So if you're watching this on video, you can get the idea. So the left hand there, I'm going to do my right hand, and then the left hand. Now we're going to slide. That's a respect from the student to teacher, teacher to the student. All right, let's go back to the horse stance. So we're going to come in the horse stance, we're going to do an inward block. So we're going to pick up our hand like this, like we're going to wave hello. We're going to twist it in. You want to hit with this part of your forearm. So from there, ready, block. 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 See how Paul brings it across and hits it with the arm. So come over here, Paul, face me, please. All right, Paul gets in the horse stance. I throw the punch. He blocks it, hitting the arm. Now, if Paul did this really hard, I'm throwing a punch and I'm not used to getting hit, that really hurts the arm too. It's not just a block, it's also a strike. And remember, when you train in the martial arts, you got to be careful. You could hurt yourself or you could hurt somebody else. We train the martial arts for several reasons. One is for exercise and two is for self-defense. We're not coming out to pick fights. But if someone throws a punch at me and I don't want to hit him back, I can block that arm and it could hurt. So let's go to the punching now. Let's get back to the horse stance. This is your basic karate punch. You're going to take the fingers like I showed earlier, curl it here, down, thumb over the first two fingers, bring them up to the rib cage. All right, we're going to take our right hand, reach it out in front of you with a twist. Now when we do this, you don't want your arm totally extended. Just do a natural reach, like you're reaching out to grab something. Now from there, you're not going to hyperextend your elbow. If you come out with that full extension, wow, that elbow hurts too. I've done it. So we're going to twist it out. From here, you want the knuckle to be in the center line of the body. All right, Paul, come over here for a moment, please. We're going to get our horse stance face on the angle here for the camera. So here, go this way. There you go. All right, Paul, bring out your right hand. See how he brings it out here? This first knuckle is lined up here. See how straight this is here? You don't want the hand to come up like that. You hit, bam, broken wrist or sprained. If it's down, it could be the same thing. If it's this way, now you get the boxer break. This is the first knuckle that you want to hit with, is the, that knuckle there. If you hit with that knuckle, you will end up hitting with both knuckles. A lot of people, I had videos out showing how to punch and people said that's a lie and they got violently, you know, comments all that, swearing and all that, it's no need for that. But the thing is, I learned this by experience. When I hit with the first two knuckles, my wrist would go like this because look at these tiny little things. I'm not the biggest and strongest guy out there, but I learned how to punch the hard way. I punched with the first two knuckles, my wrist would go like this. And one thing I've noticed about punching with that first knuckle, I watch videos too, and I noticed Bruce Lee would punch with that first knuckle. A lot of people idolize him. You're going to argue with me, but Bruce Lee did it too. So, from here, we're going to hit that first knuckle. So, let's go back to here. Throw the punch out, and hold it there. Punch, punch, punch. Now, by holding it out here, that helps you correct yourself. So, if your hand's like this, you go, oh, that's not right. Now here's a more practical way of punching. I wouldn't sit there and fight Paul and go, ha, ah, and hold it there. No, that's not why this was made. You know, this is not what it was intended for. So now what we're going to do is snap it and bring it back. I think of the game of tag. Tag, you're it. But maybe Paul is faster than me. He's the fastest kid in the neighborhood, I think. So now 
I tag, he tags me back. Well, the game of tag, I used to play tag. I'd go back to base if I had that fast kid. I would try to wait to tag that kid when I was close to base. Well, your arm's not that far away, right? Well, this is your safety. Boom. But when it comes to fighting here, your hand comes back up. You're not going to sit like this. So here we go. Let's go with the punch. And out. That's it. Punch. 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 And keep that hand in the center line of your body. Make sure you twist it. I think of like grabbing M&Ms out of a bowl, bringing it back so I can eat it out of my hand. That's how I think. But just don't open the hand like that and you poke your fingers. All right. Let's move on to the next point. Uh, block in, block in, punch, punch. I just call it block, block, punch, punch. I know I'm real creative there. But uh, it works for the kids. The kids love this. And the adults like it too. But from here, getting the horse like that, block it crossed. Block it across, throw a punch, then throw the punch. This is a good timing drill. And if we hit the focus mitts, then this becomes like, um, you can hear a rhythm. I think of drums. You hear it when you hit it. So block, block, punch, punch. You can build speed, timing. It's just an awesome little drill. Next thing we're going to go to is a karate chop. There's a couple different ways of throwing a karate chop, so I'm going to show you this one way right now. We're going to do it with the palm facing down. So from the horse stance, Pick up your hand over here towards your ear. Of course, I'm not going to hold my hand high and chop like that. But this is a good placement to teach you for positioning the hand. All right, so from here, pick up that and then twist it across. Now, instead of chopping straight across, too, put on an angle. So I can see Paul from over here chopping this way. <laughs> and come right across. Because what you're going to do, this could hit on the neck, the base of the neck, which we're going to go into a technique in a moment that uses this. Alright, so pick it up, chop across. Pick it up, chop across. Good. Let's go to a technique called Chinese sword. We're going to do it in the air and then we're going to do it on each other. I'm going to do it on Paul here, Paul's going to do it on myself. So here we go. We just stand in a neutral position. Someone throws a right punch. We're going to take the right foot, if we're looking at a clock, this would be 12 o'clock, we're going to step to about 12.30, 1 o'clock. You want to get out of the line of the punch. So step, see I point my toes too, I don't just step this way. I point my toes, turn, look I'm in a horse stance. Inward block, keep this other hand up, this is what we call a cover hand in Kempo. We don't want our hand down here in nowhere land. So pick up the hand, open the hand up, twist it and chop. Do it again, step, block, chop. I'm going to do the other hand. Step with the left foot, block, chop. And I didn't turn, did I? You guys probably caught that. So I'm here, turn, chop. And guess what else I have? Look at my hand down here. You guys didn't, did you catch that? I caught that. <laughs> Alright, so we're here. Block, cover hand, chop. See, some of you guys followed me with that hand down here, too. I know you did. All right, so here we go. Right punch coming at me. I'm out of the way. Chop. See why this hand is here? Throw the other punch, ball. See, I can grab that thing. Pull it, I can tap it out of there. You know, I can grab it, hook it out. It's there for a reason. I even go like this. If it's coming too quick, I can just shrug up here and here so it's not knocking me out. He still might hit me, but I'd rather not get knocked out. I want to be able to still be in the fight so I can... So I could be the one walking away. So I'm going to throw the punch at you. You're going to do it on me. Go to the inside. You see how you guys go to the outside? It can be done. Go back to the outside again. Now this time, you could chop if my hand comes back too. It can be done. But for right at the moment, come on the inside, and then chop. See how that works? You can do it on the outside. Remember, these are scripted moves with adaptability. I'm going to probably say the name more times than people would recognize the name. Who said that to me was Tim Trammell. He's one of the black belts from Parma Heights, Ohio. And I thought that was the greatest way he described, you know, anyone described the techniques. These are, you know, scripted moves with adaptability. So we can always change, right? So from here, throw the punch. I went to the outside. Oops. His arm is not going to stay here. It's going to be snapping back. 
All right, now let's go to one more thing, front kick. Let's do it from a neutral position. Pick up your hands for balance. Here we go, lift the knee up, toes up, kick forward, bring it back. Front snap kick, we snap it back fast. Other leg, up, out, and back. Good, kick, kick. Now one thing I didn't tell you, is it might be going like this, some of you. Bend your knees, kick, bring it back. Hit with the ball of your foot, so pick up your toes. So that is the Kempo for Beginners, lesson one. If you guys haven't subscribed yet to our channel, Shodan1197, come on, now's the time to do it. We got a lot more videos to come on Kempo for Beginners, then we got Kempo for Intermediate to be coming, Advanced, and then also Black Belt. There's going to be a lot of videos on here. This is probably going to be a project that's going to take me about a year to finish, maybe even longer. So, subscribe to us. Thank you for watching.